Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord by Incoming Lordy and tell we're back once again on Predator Hunterground. In this video, we'll be covering the Marine class, their loadouts, their weapons, their customizations, and also the missions they'll be trying to complete to win the game within Predator Hunting Grounds. But before we do get into this video, make sure to show your support by hitting that like button and also hitting the subscribe button to keep up to date with our content. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So primary focus within this video will be based on Marines. If you want to watch a Predator video, there's one down below in the comment section down below, highlighting the Predator classes, customizations, and weapons. In this video, we're going to be basing out on Marines and all on those objectives, plus their missions and what they're going to complete. So let's get into that. So the Marines will consist of four people, four players, which make up a fire team that will go into the jungles of South Africa, where they will be encountering multiple missions in order to complete each stage of those missions to reach the final goal of winning the game in Predator Hunting Grounds, but also there will be a Predator player trying to stop them from reaching that goal by trying to destroy them here and there as they get isolated or as he goes in and targets the Marines for themselves. The Marines need to stay composed and stay together in order to defend from the Predator's attacks, but also complete missions to hopefully get closer and closer to the last objective to get to the chopper or to kill the Predator by teaming up and just annihilating that thing as quickly as possible. But before we even jump into the game, there's a couple of customization choices that you can choose from and also weapon choices. So the customization and classes or class loadouts do consist of these. Gain access to a wide variety of options to decide your soldier's playstyle. Pick a class to determine your proficiencies, equip various weapons to unleash your firepower and use many options to bolster your soldier's loadouts. So you obviously got perks, you do have some type of uh, choice between the loadouts or what you can choose from. So we have different stats depending which one you choose and obviously what weapons will be carried into those fights. So within the gameplay reveal trailer and also the images that we do see for Marines, we see a couple of assault rifles falling underneath the M4, the AUG, and also the AK-47. But there's also shotguns that can be used, a knife, a grenade, and also a sniper. So those are some of the weapons that you'll be able to choose from in your playing style when picking a soldier class. The classes exactly and the actual classes you'll be able to use are not defined, but you're able to see basic customization with camouflage and different color schemes on the Marines itself, but nothing too crazy. Obviously, there's goggles, there's glasses, there is actual face tattoos or mask. So I don't know if that's a choice that you can choose within game. I'm hoping it is. So that becomes more of a unique playstyle and creating your own unique character when entering Predator Hunter Grounds as a Marine. The Marine missions become more interesting because the objectives are constantly changing depending on what stage you're in. So you're going to start off usually finding a gorilla camp or like a heavy armed camp by enemy reinforcements being NPCs or bots that you have to verse and infiltrate before going to the next mission. And also keep in mind your two goals are at the final stages, it's to kill the Predator or to get to the chopper. I think those are always going to be the two last goals within Predator Hunting Grounds when you're playing as a Marine with your other teammates, but also the missions in between get a little bit more interesting, such as eliminating infamous drug lords, infiltrating camps, shutting down local bases to stop a global network, and also accessing computers while restoring or restarting solar generators as well. So you get a couple of missions here and there between the game. I'm not sure if that's consistent within every game to expect that to exist on every map that you do play with in Predator Hunting Grounds, like all those objectives or it does change and flux depending what time you're in and what time zone it is, say it's night or day, if things are changing, does the objectives change as well? I am not too sure, but I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of playability since that's the idea between games like this, when you go into map versus one creature or one player. As for, there should always be replayability within the game, so you have to keep getting addicted, keep playing it, and keep enjoying it. So that's the idea with these objectives, that maybe will be constantly changing depending on what time of the day you are playing the game or what map you are in. So that's something to keep in mind because it makes it interesting because the predator can hunt you down in any stage of those objectives and try and take you out. So now obviously the gameplay scheme changes completely since they have that encounter from the predator itself, trying to target you while you try and do an objective, like restarting the solar generators or doing the computers. That's most likely gonna be a point when you have to stand next to a machine or be in an animation, which means the predator can come in for a quick, easy kill on the Marine itself. So the Marines have a couple of choices, a mixture of weapons being short range, medium range, and long range with shotgun, snipers, assault rifles, and most likely, submachine guns and the objectives may be in flux we don't know but there's many objectives to complete to reach end game before you get to the chopper or kill the predator as your fire team of four when playing marines so mates in the comment
comment section down below. Tell me what you think about Marines. Are you interested to play them within Praetor Undergrounds? Or are you all going to be Praetor Mains only and no one's been playing Marines? Tell me in the comment section down below because when I played Marines in Alien vs Praetor, I had a blast and it's such a great character or play style to have within a universe like this. So most likely I'll be playing Marines quite a lot alongside being a Praetor Main as well. I'm going to try and make that a balance, but I know it's going to be hard. But tell me your thoughts and your pins in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this video, show your support by hitting that like button and also hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with our content. And that is all for this video. It's been a pleasure and I'll catch you mates in the next one. Bye.